In today's video, we are going to learn how to become a better version of ourselves. This is impossible. No one that bad just changes like that. <laughs> Nothing is impossible with God. Hello, Superbook fans, and welcome to Superbook Sunday School at Home. Today, we are on our 10th lesson, and I want to say a big hello to all our first-time friends. Does anyone remember last week's lesson? We learned that you and I can do all things through Christ. Jesus has power over man, over nature, and even over things that are unseen. Yeah. So who's my competition? Who's better than me? God's the only true miracle worker. And today, we are learning that God can change people. Mean people, selfish people, even bullies. God can change their heart. Before we get into our lesson for today, let's watch the Salvation Poem, which is in 39 different languages. If this is your first class, then I want you guys to know that we've been trying to learn the poem in different languages. Let's see if you can learn a few.
जिस पर यीशु ने अपने प्राण दिए और जी उठे हमें बचाने को दैट वॉज द हिंदी वन दैट वॉज प्रिटी ईजी राइट If you want you can translate a few lines of the salvation poem in your own language and send us a message I would love to hear it Kids we've been seeing in the past weeks that nothing is impossible for God He can change situations and did you know if he can change situations he can also change the attitude and behavior of people Don't believe me let's watch this super book video Road to Damascus to see if god can really change people's hearts come on chris let's see if gizmo wants to go to the park and kick a few that's strange yeah your mom never leaves the door open mom dad hey what are you doing gizmo Chris, the alarm was not turned on. And get out of my way. <laughs> Looks like it's on now. Open this door now. You tripped the security lockdown. It will not open until the police arrive. <sighs> What are you looking at? We are looking at a thief, a criminal, a crook, and you will certainly pay for it. Shut up! You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Rich family, robot toy, high-tech lab at your expensive house. You don't know a thing about who I am or where I come from. Were you hungry? Joy, don't talk to him. Is that why you broke in? What do you care? My name's Joy. What's yours? Joy, what are you doing? You must be scared. I know I am. But maybe this was just a mistake, right? Coming into this house, maybe there's a way to explain. I didn't mean to. It was just that Could someone turn off that alarm. Everybody move. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Professor, let's go inside for your statement and a damage report. Before so, if you press charges, it'll get serious from here. Chris, did you hear that? We have to tell your parents he's not a real criminal. What are you talking about? He came I mean it. I think if he was given a chance, he could change. He's a thief, Joy, and he deserves whatever happens. Superbook. I am taking you to witness the miraculous change in the most dangerous man. and find out where we are this time. It appears we have landed in the ancient city of Jerusalem. And the year is They went that way. Down that alley. Hurry, follow me. Two more went west. Who's that chasing us? Saul of Tarsus. Want these followers of Jesus caught and caged tonight? Search every house if you must. Yeah! I'm Caleb, and there is no need to worry. Ananias is here. Keep a lookout.
Why are you all hiding from this guy, Saul? We are followers of the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth. And because of that, our temple leaders think we have abandoned God. We have not. But there is none more relentless to see our light extinguished than Saul of Tarsus. It is a good thing he did not catch us tonight. Saul was there when the crowd killed Stephen. Who's Stephen? Stephen was a very special man. He loved God with all his heart and was so excited about the message Jesus brought about salvation. Stephen explained Jesus was the one promised of God, the perfect sacrifice, far better than the sheep and bulls our people use in their services. But every remark of love only made his accusers more angry. Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit. He forgave his enemies, even while they stoned him. Look, I see the heavens opened, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Lord, forgive them for what they do. Saul was there, encouraging them to stone Stephen. Soon, he would try to stop any followers of Jesus. He went from house to house, arresting people, dragging off to prison anyone, including women, who believed in Jesus. Ananias! The guards! Saul may be with them! All must go to my home in Damascus. You'll be safe there. I believe they are trying to escape. They travel out of Judea, through Samaria and Galilee, all the way to Syria. There is a stronghold of these disciples of Jesus living here in Damascus. I require a personal letter from you, the high priest, to the leaders of the synagogues in Damascus, asking their support that I may end this infection once and for all. These followers of Jesus disregard the law of Moses. You shall have the letter. And with it, I shall clean up Damascus within the week. I sure hope Chris and Ananias got away safely. It appears Chris and his watch have arrived in Damascus. Ananias must have gotten horses and cut across the desert. The driver is going on to Nazareth, but we must continue north for a few more days. Or sooner if we can catch another ride. of sins 
and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. I... I cannot see. I am blind. Take me to Damascus. Jesus spoke to me and I will obey. He commands me to speak to my own people and show them his way. You take him to Damascus as he commands. I shall return to Jerusalem. The high priest will not be amused. Ananias will be amazed when he hears about this. Ananias, I'm worried about Caleb and my friends. It's been three days now. Trust, Chris. God watches over us, and he will not sleep as they journey to us. Ananias. I am here, Lord. Arise and go to the street which is called Straight and ask in Judas' house for the one called Saul of Tarsus. For he prays and has seen a vision of you coming in and putting your hand on him that he might receive his sight. Lord, I know how much evil this man has done to the believers in Jerusalem. Go. He is chosen by me to bring my name to the world. According to my standards, Chris should be just about... Oh, oh Chris! Gizmo! Chris! You made it! Where have you been? Chris, you won't believe what happened. It was Saul! You ran into Saul? He's here in Damascus! Ananias! Chris, he's a changed man! Ananias, Saul followed us here. Yes. I'm going to see him now. What are you talking about? The Lord has told me Saul's heart has changed, and he has had a vision. He awaits my arrival. But this is impossible. No one that bad just changes like that. <laughs> Nothing is impossible with God. Is someone there? Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road has sent me that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. come to me and do this very thing. And now, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. changed. I once spoke evil, insulted and persecuted, but God has granted me mercy because I did not know him and did those things in ignorance. You were a part of the group that killed Stephen, my friend. Yes, I was there, and I encouraged those who stoned him. But Stephen's dying words have haunted me over and over. Lord, forgive them for what they do. Now I seek that same forgiveness from all whom I have persecuted. I forgive you.
that not Saul of Tarsus? He speaks of Jesus now? Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. However, for this reason I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long-suffering as an example to those who are going to believe in him for everlasting life. There are soldiers coming through the city gates! They're after Saul! You must flee! The city gates are being locked. They will search house to house. Ananias, I have a plan. Who's with me? searching on the west side of the city. Go and become a great messenger to the Gentiles as you spread the word of our Lord. I believe God has a very special job for him to do. Prepare your own heart, Caleb. God has great work for you to do as you grow up, too. You must be ready when your time comes. Oh, there you are. Mom? The boy who broke in, well, I think you should just come into the lab a minute. Mom, I was wrong before. About what? What I said about him. Everyone deserves another chance. I can forgive him, Mom. Funny. That's what he just asked us if we could do. Then he's on his way. On his way to what? Maybe a special job he doesn't even know he's being picked out to do? Chris Quantum, sometimes you really do surprise me. Where do you come up with answers like that? can change the heart of people and change their outlook on life as well. As we saw in the story, Saul had a complete change of heart and he admitted what he was doing was wrong. Once he asked God for forgiveness, he followed Jesus' teachings. My heart has changed. I once spoke evil, insulted and persecuted, but God has granted me mercy because I did not know him and did those things in ignorance. Now I seek that same forgiveness from all whom I have persecuted. Go and become a great messenger to the Gentiles as you spread the word of our Lord. This story also teaches us that God's view is very different than the worldly view. The world may only look at us in one way, but God sees our entire life. And this story also teaches us about forgiveness. Just like God forgave Saul, Stephen forgave those who were stoning him, and Chris and his mom forgave the boy who came to steal from their home. Bible study. Today's Bible study is taken from Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is His good, pleasing and perfect will. Kids, the Bible teaches us that we need to change our hearts, we need to change our thoughts and we need to change our behavior. And the only way we can do this is through the strength of God. We should not see the world like everyone else sees it. Whenever, you know, whenever we may face a situation, we must always think, what would Jesus do? And when we pray and think what would Jesus do, our hearts are changed and we will do the right thing. Bread time. Kids, why don't we pray today and ask God to help us become a better version of ourselves? Come, let's pray. Jesus, thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you do for us. 
God, we know sometimes we may not always have the best attitude or best behavior, but we know you can change our heart. Jesus, I pray that if there is anything in our heart that is not right and is not pleasing in your sight, that you would help us change it, that you would change our thoughts, that you would change our behavior. We thank you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. Super verse. Our super verse for today is taken from 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. Why don't we say that again? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new is here. When we are in Christ and when we believe in Jesus, we become a better version of ourselves. Activity time. Today we are learning that God can change people's hearts and behavior. And inspired by change, I want to teach you a craft. We'll try to change something to make it useful or interesting. I'm sure you all may have heard that reusing waste is a good thing. And you know, plastic is really bad for the environment. If we can't stop using single-use plastic objects, let's try to reuse them. For this, you will need an old plastic bottle, an old spoon and a cutter. So we're going to take an old plastic bottle and we will make cuts on opposite sides just like this. I already have made four cuts. The side where the spoon will be will make a cut a little bigger so that the grains can come out from there to the spoon. Now let's take our spoon and fix it like this. When it's done, we'll make a funnel out of the paper so that it will be easy for you to fill the grains in the bottle. You can make two holes here and tie it with a rope so you can hang it on your balcony. And the birds will come and eat grains from here. I hope you guys made that bird feeder and learned how to reuse single-use plastic. Why don't we do a recap of what we learned today? Mom, I was wrong before. About what? What I said about him. Everyone deserves another chance. I can forgive him, Mom. Funny, that's what he just asked us if we could do. Then he's on his way. On his way to what? Maybe a special job he doesn't even know he's being picked out to do? So remember kids, God can change people and only God can make a better version of us. Next week, we are going to learn about choose the right thing. Eat the fruit. Free yourself. No, I did something wrong. And I would rather take punishment from those that love me than run from it and be with you. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the past 30 minutes with us. I can't wait to see you next Sunday right here at 3.30 p.m. on the Superbook India page. If you learned something from today, make sure you comment in the box below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.